Amen. Thank you, God. Yes. Glory to God. Look at Mr. Aaron tell me. Pastor, we appreciate it. Tell me we appreciate it. Yes, yes. Preach it. Yes. Oh, oh, yes. oh, yes. Glory to God. Yes. I, I, I got the boy. He's a real person, he, he's a divine person, he's a unique person. Those other three things, look at us, I'm just showing how much he's a real person. I gotta keep going because he, he's a real person because he has intellect and then he also has emotions. So, but why so he has emotions because his emotions are seen in Ephesians chapter 4 because his emotions are seen in that he can be grieved. Yes. Right. So he has emotions. Yeah, Are you there? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30, what it says. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Because you are sealed right now until the day of redemption. The Holy Spirit also has emotion. He can be grieved. Yes, yes. That's not an it or a force. Amen. He. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. But 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 also but also, also he has a will in First Corinthians twelve because his will is seen in the fact that he acts with intentionality or with purpose. So in First Corinthians chapter twelve, let, let's see that he has a will. And verse number eleven, what he says. But all these worketh that one and the self same spirit, dividing to every man generally as he will. Okay, you know what that means. As he gave us, as he will. As he will. So the Spirit of God divides the gifts of God as he will. So, Mr. Angela is a preacher. He's a prophet. He, she's a singer. <laughs> Come on. She's a, a church model. Yes. He's dividing the gifts. Yes, as he will. As who will? He will. So he has a will. And he knows what you're capable of doing. So he divides the gift to every man according to how he does it. Yes. Everyone say, as he will. As he will. Oh, then I got the wrong church because I'm running out of time. So, but in addition with, to all of this, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Bible rather, you this personal pronouns for the Holy Spirit. For Jesus referred to the Holy Spirit as He. Turn to St. John 15. I gotta show this quickly. He, He, He. So you can't refer to the Holy Spirit as it or a force or a thing. Personal pronoun. He. Everyone say He. So, 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 are you there? In, in, uh, in St. John chapter, uh, fifth, uh, what is it, what I tell you? 15. And, uh, verse number 26, what it says. But when the Comforter is come, mm -hmm. whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. Okay, read verse 14. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. Ye are my friends. If he do whatsoever I command you. All right, and verse, and verse, and verse number uh, 60, um, number 26, did you read that? Verse, okay, let's look at verse number 13, brother. Of St. John chapter 16. Go now, quickly, I've got to go to the scripture. St. John chapter 16 and verse number 13, what it says. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come. When who? He, the spirit. Everybody say, he, the spirit. Okay, go ahead. He will guide you into all He will guide you into all truth. For he shall speak not of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear. So for he shall speak not of himself, but whatsoever what? He shall he shall. He shall. Go ahead. That shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. And the Holy Spirit refers to himself as a person. He speaks to others. And say things only a person can say in Acts chapter 13. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's look at verse 2. And Acts chapter 
chapter 13, see what the Holy Spirit said. Only, only, only a person can say this. Yes. What he says. As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas, and Saul for the work, whereunto I have called them. Only a person can talk like that. Yes. So God saves us, and he calls us 